driving from Dallas, Texas to Louisiana. She heard my voicemail, realized how important this meeting was, and she called me while she was driving to Louisiana to give me some information on our social media department. So I find out our social media department is in two sections. They have the monitoring social media in Dallas, Texas, and they have the content development right here. So I'm going to meet with one of the vice presidents in the next week or so to find out what are the expectations and the qualifications to get in social media. As Regina said, it's a very popular field, so it's very competitive. A lot of times in, in your age group, you may not have the resume, but that's the purpose of coming to things like this, to find out how to get your resume in a position to get this job at some point. Also, can anyone tell me AT&T is a large, large company? What is the advantage of working for a large company as opposed to a smaller company? Yes. Um, more exposure for, um, more exposure for um, different connections. More exposure, okay. Well, any other advantages? Yes. Uh, more resources for, uh, for training, like just carrying the amount of resources that goes into just that one opportunity to go to Dallas, Texas for that one internship. You get free, free food, you get housing, and you get education and training and that amount of resources, a small company wouldn't be able to just do that with a bunch of college students, so more resources. So. Exactly. All you want to do is get your foot in the door. I've been here for 31 years, so if this was a bad company, would I still be here? <laughs> okay. at, at my level, because AT&T invests a lot of money in training, they invest a lot of money in making you, helping you to be the best that you can be. A few years ago, my last promotion, I didn't even know this was possible. I get a retention bonus not to leave. Mm -hmm. So over and above my pay, which I'm very happy for, they paid me not to leave. So you think I'm, I'm going to be scratching and kicking out the door before this. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's great. So a company like this is great. So my point is, you can get into the company any kind of way you want. Because it's better to maneuver in the company and move around. I've had seven or eight jobs here, and they've all been great. So um, think about that in terms of looking at our website, getting the job that you can get in the door with, not only AT&T, but any large corporation, because the benefits are roughly the same. And obviously, I'm prejudiced. I've been here 31 years. Okay, the next speaker I'm going to introduce you to is one of our interns that I met this summer. Uh, goes to UCLA, has a really good story on how he differentiated himself first of all, to get into UCLA, and second of all, to get the job here. You've heard a lot of talk today about mentorship. A couple of the speakers, well at least one of the speakers today is one of my mentees, which you'll listen to in the future, John uh, Jeffrey Thompson, and you also know one of my mentees, Chris Backus. Mentors are good, especially when you have stuff in common, because you keep that relationship over years and years, you develop a certain area of trust, where you can talk and ask questions. And then what I've kind of invented the last couple years, I do a lot of what I call reverse mentoring now. In this new world and new technology, I'll go in some meetings and they'll be talking about, I've, I've got familiar with AR and VR, and I went somewhere and they started talking about MR. I had no clue what they were talking about. What I'll do is excuse myself, like I have to go to the restroom, I'll call one of my mentees and use my lifeline and get some information. <laughs> I'll go back in the room and I'll be the smartest person in the room. No shame to my game. I'm very humble and just learning the technology and staying on top. So this young man, uh, we had a lot in common this summer. In fact, after he's left our summer internship, I punished him a couple of times and made him work for free. So it was really hard. Um, he had to go to a couple of Laker games with me and a couple of Ram games and things like that. So, you know, sometimes mentorship can be stressful. But without further ado, I'm going to bring up Emmanuel to tell you about his summer internship last summer.